How's it going guys? It is Friday, the sun is out, and I'm finally going to get some wood. I recruited my younger brother to come help today. Uh, we're gonna run to Home Depot and hopefully pick up the stuff we need. So uh, let's get to it. All right, so just picked up the wood. Uh, everything fits perfectly. We got two sheets of four by eight plywood um, and then two two by tens, which are both 12 feet long. Uh, it all fits thanks to the back window. So uh, shout out to the brother for uh, helping me get everything in and now it's time to go start building. So one other quick note I want to make for anyone that also has a uh, 2002 or similar generation Sequoia. Um, if you do roll this back window down here, you actually can fit a four by eight sheet of plywood. I do have like all of the seats out, so that definitely like made it a lot easier. I just wanted to share that piece of info um, in case anyone else was wondering, because I could not find anything about it online. So uh, yeah, if you have a Sequoia, four by eights do fit. about the past week going through a whole bunch of ideas um, kind of like drawing up and finalizing a, a plan uh, just going to try and like build the frame of the bed today first thing I'm going to make a cut on is this 4 by 8 sheet of plywood this is going to be the base that I kind of build everything else on top of it's eight feet long four, four feet wide I'm just going to make a cut um, so that it's four feet by six feet. I'm only 5'10", so I don't need it to be much longer. It should be pretty easy. Just gonna measure out six feet and just make one cut across. For anyone wondering too, this this piece of plywood, which like I said earlier, is going to be the the base of this whole like platform, um, is half an inch thick. So I felt like half inch was a pretty good size. That's like sturdy enough that like it can support some weight, but um, not too thick where like I'm losing a ton of headroom. So half inch is what I went with. So I went ahead and drew a line across using this thing, I forget what it's called, but basically it like locks onto the end so that you're like getting like a perfectly straight line. Super helpful to have. After I draw a line too, I always like to like just remeasure um, kind of like on this side and this and the other side just to make sure that it's like exactly six feet. Especially right now, plywood is expensive and we don't want to mess up. So just measuring from the ends, just making sure it's right at six feet, which this side is. Yep, right about six feet. Well, now that we have our line drawn and we know that this side is exactly six feet, which is the length we want, um, I think we're all set to make our first cut. So I decided instead, um, just because I don't have a third sawhorse, um, to just like use some extra two by fours I had laying around. That way there's like three of them, so like the whole piece is supported even after like I make that cut. I'll lay like the place I'm going to cut right in between these two 2x4s two and I can cut straight across. Um, I'm going to open this up and just test fit this in here. Hopefully it all works but um, let's get this open and like we can actually throw this in. Here's the piece of plywood we just cut. Four feet long, six, sorry, four feet wide, six feet long. Um, definitely fits. There's maybe like a quarter inch on on each side. Yeah, so super glad it fits. Definitely took a lot of measurements beforehand. So let's go ahead and get started on that second piece now. This is the exact same half inch thick, eight feet long, four feet wide and we are making the exact same cut, um, just trimming this to six feet long. And let's go for it.
right, so now that I have the bottom and top of this frame built, um, I'm going to be measuring out and cutting the support beams. There's going to be four, one on the left, one on the right, one in the middle, and then one on, on the back. Cutting these on the left, middle, and side just under um, six feet, so I'm cutting them 70 and a half inches. And then that extra one and a half inch will leave room for the back uh, supports. I think I'm going to try the compound saw and I think like just by flipping it over it should be pretty easy to like just get this get this cut by uh, using kind of like two cuts one on each side it seems to work really well for cutting a 2x10 even with it uh, not being a big enough blade So I'll show you here as well, um, kind of what the what the plan is. This big support beam is going to go in between them. Um, so one's on the bottom and one will be on top. The two by 10 is just going to sit kind of like this. Um, so there will be one on this side, one in the middle, one on the left, and then there's this extra about an inch and a half um, so then I can fit another 2 by 10 going this way kind of like as a back support so yeah that's kind of like the general idea um, just have a few more a few more cuts to make here and uh, then I can start assembling it all So now that we have the left and the right supports cut, um, we're gonna cut one for the center, which again is going to be 70 and a half inches, and then one for the back, which is just going to be 48 inches, which is the width of that plywood. So now that I have the three support pieces cut, I'll show you guys what that looks like. This is kind of like the general idea. One of these pieces of plywood is going to be on top. Um, and then like in here are going to be the pull out drawers. Um, didn't grab any of the wood to build the drawers tonight. Just wanted to get the frame built, made sure that all fit, um, which so far it's looking pretty good. Back up on the saw horses now. I think I'm going to kind of like trace the outline of where these are going to rest. So now I have this box um, right along here and that's going to be where this thing sits. Uh, so I'll do the same thing on the other side and then also in the middle. And this like does not need to be perfect. It's more of just like a general idea to know that I'm like putting this in the right place. Obviously the one in the middle is more important um, because it kind of like determines the size of the drawers. So I'll take more time measuring that. It looks like one of my drawers is going to be 16 and a half inches and then the other one is going to be 27. The outline is done. You can see this is for uh, one support. There's the row for a second one, and then this one on the left side. Um, and then there's this line here, which is going to be for that that end support. I feel like there should be a way to clamp this piece down while I like start drilling. I only have like a couple of these things, which aren't big enough and I can't think of another way to to really clamp it. The only thing I can really think of right now uh, is using some duct tape. 
I know there's definitely a better way to do this. Um, if you have any other ideas, like I'd love to know, just because I'm curious. So like, let me know in the comments below. Uh, <laughs> but for now, I think we're just gonna use some duct tape uh, just to help like hold it in place. I think once we get a few screws in, it'll be a lot easier. Um, but it's just those first couple that I don't want the board moving around, so. Uh, just gonna draw one more here and then try and get some screws in. foot out on either end. Already seems to be pretty solid. I'm going to throw in three or four more screws. So I have like six, around six in there. But just after having two screws in there and kind of pushing this around a bit, I think that six, six or seven should be, should be good enough to like really hold this in place. I'm totally just eyeballing it, but right now, um, maybe doing like one screw roughly every 12 inches. All right, so I got, I think six screws in. It seems to be pretty solid. If I push in this, it does not really go anywhere. Um, yeah, I think once I have like three of these and then some horizontal support beams, and then another sheet of plywood on top. I think this thing should be pretty solid. The real test will be once I like actually climb on it and like <laughs> pretend like I'm laying down or something, see if it can support my body weight. Um, but for now it's, it's looking pretty good. So uh, I'm just gonna continue working. Um, it's starting to get a little dark, but I have a few lights I can bring out. Just gonna keep pushing for now. Just got this second uh, frame support installed. Same thing, just six screws on the bottom. You can see here, this is that reason why I left the inch and a half, um, because that one two by 10 that we cut to 48 inches, is going to run right along here. I'm gonna start with like a couple screws like along this way and then might drill into these longer 2 by 10s just to like really lock this in. piece of plywood. It is a quarter inch thick, so pretty thin. Um, this is what I'm going to use for the horizontal support beams. Here's what it looks like. Um, so now it's time to make a bunch of cuts so that we get eight total three inch strips. All right, so the strips are done. Um, again, they're just like quarter inch pieces. They are four feet long and they're all roughly uh, three inches, three inches wide. So it's just a nice like extra little layer here. <laughs> All right, we got all of those screws attached, and this is kind of what it looks like. So it's just a whole bunch of supports going across, and uh, I am all ready for the next step, which is just laying the final piece of plywood on top, and then the frame will pretty much be built. It is currently 
probably started this around like 1.30 to 2. So I've been working at it for maybe the last five or six hours, but it all came together. So the last step to do is to like wrap it in that carpet that I got. Um, so I might do that later tonight, maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Um, but for now, the whole frame is put together. All right, so I do think I'm going to try the carpet tonight. Um, I just got it from Home Depot. It's just, it says like area rug, six by eight feet. It was like 20 bucks. I don't really know the best way to put this on, but I grabbed like a staple gun and some staples, so I'm gonna try that. I know some people have used like spray on adhesive, so if the staples don't work, um, I'll probably try that. So this is kind of what the carpet looks like. Obviously, I'm gonna trim it, um, especially in the front here. But I'm thinking just kind of like wrapping it all the way around uh, and then just stapling. I don't know, I feel like that should work. Got some like, a cheap staple gun, like it was 10 bucks or something. And then a couple, like five, eight staples, I think. Let's see. So this is the staple gun. And then a couple of these, like five sixteenths, not five eighths, five sixteenths inch staples, so. Okay, so we just opened the staple gun, uh, loaded some staples in it, and we're gonna see if it works. Never used one of these, but. Yeah, pretty sweet, that was easy. Um, I think this should work for the carpet then. Honestly, these staples seem to be working really well. Um, just kind of like pulling it tight and then putting a couple in and so far it seems to be doing exactly what I needed to. That looks pretty good. Yeah, so just cutting off that big chunk there worked. Um, and then I just left a little bit on this side to kind of wrap around, staple that on, and it seems pretty clean. So I'll trim off this bottom, put a few staples along this back side, and then do the same thing on the other corner. Um, just kind of like cut it and wrap it around. Just finished wrapping the uh, big frame with the carpet. Just used a bunch of staples. They honestly worked awesome. Now we're gonna throw it in the back and see if See if everything fits and works. I got it. Fit me too. Um. <laughs> All right, so with this frame pretty much built, um, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely super excited to like have this thing done and. Um, actually feel like the build is finally starting to happen. I know the first couple videos were just like taking stuff out of the car and getting it ready and preparing it, um, but now it's like we're actually getting into the build. And there's still a lot left to do. Still have to build the drawers, um, figure out how I want to do that, and then also um, build some more like storage areas. So that will all be coming hopefully soon. If you guys could like and subscribe, it's completely free. It would really help me out and I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time.